So Nikita Matthews is the woman who got a drink thrown her by Buster Rhymes because she grabbed his butt as he was walking past, and she's now telling her side of the story. Media takeout, TMZ, TSR, whoever. Nikita Mathis owns this whole entirety of this video. So no clout chasing on my shit right now because I worked hard for this type of clout, okay? And I got it authentically. So Already she sounded extra goofy and extra thirsty. I looked at the video, I'm like, yeah, it looked like she did that on purpose. Now this reaffirms it, just listening to her talk. She just won 15 minutes of fame to talk to the internet about this, but whatever, go ahead. I'm in the back already nearby the stage where he's going to exit. I'm a fan, okay? I've been a fan, and I did touch him, okay? I'm going to take ownership on that. But was I trying to sexually touch him? No. What, it, what I was is I was trying to get his attention because I thought perhaps I can get a picture. Now I don't know. I, maybe, maybe she did touch him accidentally, but... I think really in her mind, she thought she could get the quick smooch and he probably would turn around and smile about it. It's like in a woman's mind, even if a guy doesn't like it, he ain't about to go and be like, oh, I've been assaulted, you know? You've ever been to my shop, you would see that I have a lot of celebrity photos on my wall. And I'm pretty proud of those moments because when my customers come in, they feel that it's a wow factor, okay? They feel like, wow, you know, you hobnob and rub elbows and, you know, you associate with these people. So I take pride in that and I have pictures with some of everybody. Okay, you like to take pictures with celebrities, but I think it was reasoning for that grab that you did because if he would have said, come on, you coming with me, I think you would have went, especially given the story she told about her raising her glass and him pouring her a drink. I didn't add that because she was too long-winded trying to milk every drop of the story out for this 15 minutes of fame. So, like I said, he didn't exit the stage. I went to grab him. I really didn't mean to grab him there, you know, and he literally launched a drink right in my face. Splash. All right. So he he's, throws this drink, not the cup. People are saying he threw the whole cup. Are you, are you okay? I'm okay. It was a plastic cup. He had a cup in his hand. He launched the drink. Some people saying, was he wrong for throwing a drink? That was light to me. If it was because if it was reverse, if it was a man grabbing a woman, but y'all would be tripping. But at least he ain't kick her in the chest like Kevin Gates did. Kick her whole ribs through her back. Wish flash. And then he turns around. He look he had a look at like, dang, this is the shorty I just gave a drink to. And he's like, he's looking bewildered, like, dang. And I, he was like, Don't do that. Don't do that. And I was like, my bad. I was just trying to get a photo. And he was like, don't do that. And that was the story. Okay. So after that occurred. Okay, Nikita. I can't, I can't do it. You're not about to make the last good years of eardrum I got left bleed listening to the rest of this story. I can't do it. Okay. So we're just going to skip to the apology. You know what I'm saying? I love y'all. Like, from Chicago to Memphis to New York to Virginia to L.A., let me tell you, I've been getting calls nationwide like crazy, okay? But the moral of the story is I shouldn't have touched that man, okay? I shouldn't have touched him nowhere, not at all. People don't want to be touched. I understand that. But he's Buster Rhymes. Like... You're, I'm, I'm in fandom mode right now. Pardon me. I'm a fan sometimes. Okay. Do you understand the audacity of this woman? She's ha so happy about this situation that she assaulted this dude, and then she's like, sarcastically, like, "Pardon me for touching you." No, you didn't just touch him. You touched him on his butt. Could you imagine if a dude grabbed the booty cheeks of a woman and been like, "Well, pardon me for touching you." And then went on a celebration tour, like giving high fives that you're famous now because of this? But the bottom line is, is he doesn't like to be touched. He did not want to be touched. I did touch him first, and I shouldn't have done that. However, thank you, Busta. Like, you don't even understand the blessings that I'm catching from this. Like, it's kind of a gift and a curse, 
Because, listen, people are, okay, so let me just get back to, so I, so I won't seem, you know, a little selfish about the situation, but I am on cloud 99. Listen, I almost missed this part of the video because I was tired of her having my ears bleed listening to her talk, but I did, it played by mistake, and I was so surprised, like, what? Like, are you serious? Dude, can you imagine? You see the hypocrisy in this? Imagine if a man assaulted a woman and then thanked that woman for elevating their status in life and clout for doing this terrible act to, to the woman. Thank you. Just want to say you, you pulled me up. You pulled me up. I know you're going through stuff right now, but you, you helped me out. Can you imagine? <laughs> What Captain Sam would say, you can't make this stuff up. These chicks are out of their mind, bro. You can tell she, this is why I say she, she is goofy as they come at the beginning of the video. I can see through it. She meant to, she fully meant to grab us, but because she knew the implication. First, she, she did it because, like I say, if he had told her, come on, you going with me, she would have went. She would have went and she would have probably took some pictures while he was sleeping, got some clown in that way. But since he turned around and gave her the opposite, that even worked out even better for her. Because now the drink got thrown in the face. Now everybody calling her. She got she didn't clouded up level uh, level three status or whatever that is. And you know when Mario hit the little mushroom, bloop bloop bloop. She the blew she the blew up off that. Now she just she really out here loving this. And I'm just saying like what 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 can he do in return? Like what 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 is he to do? What are you gonna sue her? She ain't got nothing. You know what I'm saying? What's he gonna go down and file charges on her? Put her in jail? Most most dudes get laughed at when you go down the office and be like, I want to file charges for assault or something like that, like against a woman. Like what like what are you talking about? What? Get out of here. I'm not about to do the paperwork for that. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy, man. It's crazy that this woman can do this type of thing and not only that, get away with it, but just I I bet you in I don't know, within a year's time, she's gonna be on real some type of reality television, real hip hop something. Some something real extra goofy wives or somewhere she gonna be. I, I know she probably ain't a wife though. You know what I'm saying? So it probably ain't gonna be a wife, but she gonna be on some hip hop reality show throwing a drink in somebody's face, fighting or doing something stupid. You know what I'm saying? Cause she done just clouded her way to the top off this goofy interaction that she done have with Buster Brown, and, and she was planning it out to happen. Michael Irvin was just he talked to a woman for 45 seconds, and she. Pleasant exchange, all of that. She said he said something crazy to her. NFL took him off the Super Bowl, all type of stuff. He might may or may not have a job, all this. Just from her saying this, you get video evidence of this chick doing anything. Man, it's, it's ridiculous. All, I, all I'm going to say, my takeaway from this, keep your hands to yourself. Everybody, men, women, keep your hands to yourself. I done seen this go down. For, well, women is just so aggressive. They'll, they'll do it because they know you and, and no repercussions. You just walk up and just grab your nuts, broad daylight. Uh, like, what is what is wrong with you, man? Come walk up on you, slap your booty across the broom somewhere. Uh, even, girl, why would you? You really trying to have me knock your wig loose? What is wrong with you? And women do it to each other too. Y'all walk up in a minute. Oh, you got the titties done? Bloop bloop bloop. Uh, like, you know what I'm saying? Did you get your booty done? Uh, let me see how. It went. Like, what is wrong with y'all? Why would y'all walk up and just start grabbing on the women like that? I know y'all comfortable with each other, but y'all be doing too much. I seen a woman walk up on a rapper and just pat her little hot pocket. Bah, bah, bah. Like, why would you do that while she's performing, ma'am? What is wrong with you? And if you're gonna do this type of stuff, you better have some type of sexual history with them or something. Or, you know? but I, I didn't even see married couples. Wife just walk up to her husband, pow, and he'd be like, and she record him. She got him on Instagram, everything. You know what I'm saying? Like, why would you play with me like that? Don't you know? You know I'm like, like people. people first of all, men, we don't like that. I've had women walk up and slap my boot. You know what I'm saying? Like, pow, you know, like, uh, look, I'm, I'm just saying, you're gonna get fired on about two more minutes. I don't like people round my posterior. You understand what I'm saying? I'm just I'm like, y'all Y'all be doing too much with this. And the fellas do too. Men and women are like, stop grabbing on people. I done seen the uncomfortable look of cringe on a woman's face when a dude just walk up, uh, grabbing all on her. Yeah, this my boo. Uh, uh. Like, like, stop it, bro. Stop it. That's not your boo. Her face clearly says it. And she just uncomfortably 
wiggles out of it or whatever, whatever. But it's like she shouldn't have to do that. And I don't know why in 2023 that men are still doing this. We know better that this ain't the climate or the place to play this type of game. But somehow men still be doing this in 2023. Walk past, slap a girl booty. Wow. Yeah, that it was just looking too fat. Uh, okay. Especially if you got a couple dollars. Oh, yeah. You playing with fire over here, bro. You just don't want no money, huh? You don't want your money, no life, none of that. You just want it to be gone. Okay, because that's what you're going to have. But I'm just saying men and women alike, like women, I don't know why y'all think that we want this type of attention. I know you men is real sexual. It's unwanted too. You know what I'm saying? It's unwanted too. And then like we, we just, I'm telling you, just everybody keep their hands to themselves, please. Please keep your hands to yourself. You tell me what y'all think, man. My head hurt after this video, but it's your boy P. Camp. Tell me what you think, what you don't think. Was Buster Rhymes right? Was the chick right? Should you get through the drink? I don't know. Let your boy know. Put something in the comments for your boy.